The Blackhawk Serpa family of holsters are uniquely unsafe. And I'm not talking here about the fact that you have to use your trigger finger to release the firearm from the holster. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the way in which the different attachments, okay, belt attachments, connect and operate. They're uniquely unsafe because I'm noticing that many end users are not knowing how to configure particularly the paddle holster correctly or the paddle component for this holster correctly, which means that they are endangering, physically endangering themselves because they're not having the, the components installed correctly. And if they're using it as a concealed carry or an open carry holster, they're endangering their lives, okay, because uh, their draws are being compromised when they use the paddle component. I don't like paddles to begin with. I prefer snaps or belt attachments that are really secure. Okay, paddles are not that way. They are very comfortable. They're very easy to slip on and off. But the paddle attachment system that Blackhawk is using uh, and some other companies are using similar ideas or similar patterns, they're uniquely unsafe. You'll notice here if you look at this holster, uh, the back portion here, that it's missing two components. It's missing teeth. It's supposed to have two little teeth that come out here and that actually hook on your belt so that when you draw the firearm, the holster stays attached to your belt. I purchased this holster at a local pawn shop purely to do this video because it highlighted the fact that whoever owned this holster in the past did not understand that they needed to put those little teeth into it. Blade Tech, okay, has been using a similar system. This is a 511 paddle that Blade Tech manufactures. You can see here that I have correctly configured it with these little teeth that grab your belt so that when you draw the firearm, the holster does not come off still with the firearm. Okay, you pull it off like this, you go to draw in a defensive situation and this is what you're holding instead of a firearm that's ready to be used. Uh, I have a good friend of mine who has for the last three or four years used a Black Hawk Serpa holster with the paddle attachment as his concealed carry rig. He carries every day, he carries to provide security for his family and for his private business and the individuals that work for him. And recently I was out on the range with him and we were shooting and I noticed he was having a very hard time drawing his M&P pistol out of his his holster system. And I knew that he used a, 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 bla uh, a Black Hawk Serpa holster. I could see that. We've talked about it. And I could just tell he was when he was going to draw, he was fighting. He was having to reach over and hold the paddle down or hold the holster on as he went to draw sometimes. It was being, it was being just very hard for him to do. And I said, hey, take that thing off and let me look at it. And when he flipped it around, sure enough, he had not installed those teeth. And he'd, in fact, thrown them away with other components or lost them because he didn't understand he needed to install them correctly. This is the reason I believe that the Blackhawk Serpa family of holsters is dangerous if you, the end user, incorrectly attach the components that are required to make this paddle holster as safe and effective as possible. Okay, You need to understand that those teeth need to be attached. I get it. Many companies, okay, many sporting goods stores are carrying the Black Hawk Serpa family of holsters. And, and I actually like them. I think they're a very unique system. I like that you have this retention that when you put it in it, it just, you know, as you, as you holster, boom, all of a sudden there is added retention there. I love that about it. I think that you can train in such a way as to avoid or to mitigate in a significant degree the, the danger of drawing this pistol and accidentally coming down onto the, the trigger and discharging it prematurely. Okay, I think you can train around that. But what I don't think you can get around is if you incorrectly set this system up. Okay, you can see here... I've actually put a blade tech clip here, and there's no way for that to come off. It's a great clip, and it's a great attachment system. I understand why people like paddle holsters. Okay, I avoid paddle holsters, but they are very comfortable. They just place the weight across your hip in a more comfortable manner, uh, and they're easy to get on and off. I understand that, but you need to put all the components on them. And I wish a company like Blade Tech, like Blackhawk, would produce a paddle. Okay that had these already installed, whether well, already installed or a permanent component of that, yes, it's nice to be able to move them up and down to fit different um, belt sizes, but it's dangerous. You know, if, you're, if you're looking for a good quality concealment holster and you want to go with an outside the waistband holster, 
get one of these. This is a great holster from Galco, okay? And you've got these slots. You can't mess that up. It, you know, it takes a little more time to take your belt out of the loops and thread it on, but that's like two minutes, okay? In the grand scheme of things, your life is probably worth two minutes if you're carrying a firearm for defensive purposes. What I would really recommend is a holster like this one here. Uh, this is a Blade Tech inside the waistband holster that uses these great clips or snaps or loops, okay, really loops. And uh, they've got a single direction pull tab, and when you get them snapped on, they are not coming off. They are securely attached to your belt. And it's easy to then draw your pistol with no problem. You're never going to have the holster pop off of your pants with the gun in it. Okay. If you like this video, I would encourage you to leave a comment down below. If you know of a better, more effective paddle system for holsters, leave a comment. Let me know where that is. Take me to a link. I'd like to know about that. I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.